Hey there guys, what's up? Ragtar here, welcoming you back to the Pokemon Insurgents Egglock. Last time, we suffered the biggest loss of all. It cannot be stated enough how severe the loss of Potty was to the team. <laughs> I, I really had to make myself get up and play this game again. I went... I did and ca I cop captured another Gulpin. God, I'm even thrown off my rhythm. I caught a Gulpin and a Venipede. Je Ooh, I'll be taking that from you, sir. So we have four eggs to exchange. Hopefully, one of them can do us right by Potty. Now, I'm actually not going to release Potty. It's just... It means too much for me to throw it away. So I'm just going to take its choice picks. And we're going to entomb it. Here in box 21, instead of giving it the Viking burial of releasing it. So, let's start with eggs. Grimer. Trubbish. And these Pokemon are all decently level too. I won't have to do much grinding with them. Which makes me very happy. Hopefully, no more Dunsparce. It'd make me severely upset if we ran into an additional Dunsparce. Okay. Now we're going to go to each box that only has one Pokemon remaining in it, and we're going to change that. Two, one, okay. First Pokemon from here. Now Trubbish. Trubbish, Trub. You, also. I'll take a random one from here. You'll do. At this point, honestly, anything would do. <laughs> Please. Just not more Dunsparce. Something I can use. Something I would be happy with using. You can go there. We've got four eggs here, so... Da -da 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 -dum. Ooh, whoops. Da -da 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 -dum. We can only hope. This is gonna be an egg hatching episode, everybody. I also intend to go west of here and get even more encounters until I finally find Pokemon that can replace Potty in my heart. Which they never will, by the way. Ambergris, the Emolga, one of my least favorite Pokemon. Let's see. Put it in a Pokeball. Yes, thank you. Quick Attack, Tail Whip, Charge. So that tells me it didn't really have very much in the way of egg moves, huh? That had Thundershock at least, can't really complain about that. Forget Charge. Charge is dumb. Oh wait, I can speed through this part. Nuzzle. Nuzzle is actually pretty good, so... We will take Nuzzle over Spark. The guaranteed paralysis and a bit of damage. Basically, that's amazing because it breaks Focus Sashes in competitive play, and you also get the added benefit of a Paralysis, so. We'll not be learning that. Ever since I learned about the Speed Up. Ah, this part has become much easier. Shockwave, now that's something to get all excited about for an Emoga I probably won't use. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe if we need an Electric-type desperately. Electro Ball Moga's pretty fast, we can do with that. Forget Tail Whip. Okay, next up. Gotta let him hatch naturally. <laughs> uh? What in the sweet hell is that thing? Is that like an Ice-type Scyther? Uh, no, never mind. I want to cancel. I want to cancel. Fine. Fine. In a regular Pokeball. Oh, I could have canceled. Damn it. Look at this thing. Focus energy. Pursuit. Okay. Let's see. What have you got, Scyther? Ice Shard. <laughs> oh my god. You ice and fighting? My heart. Uh, no, no fast swipe. No, no, no. Not dealing with that. Agility. Could be good, but we'll, we'll skip it. Low sweep. Oh my god. I'm temp- Yeah, let's forget vacuum wave. This scyther is still a scyther. It's a physical attacker. Ice ball? What's that do? 
continually rolls into the target for five turns. Nope. Nah, 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 nah. Slash, never bad. Never bad to have a slash. Forget focus energy. Watch, this thing's got like super mega crits. A Delta Scyther. Oh, I forgot to let that one hatch naturally. Oops. Well, Teddy Ursa. I'm not upset about that one either. Wait, if this is one of the level 31 eggs, it should evolve right away. Nah, you can stay in that one. Level 29. Maybe. Alright, what have you got, Ditka? Double Edge, Baby Doll Eyes, Fake Tears, and Lick. Uh, forget Lick. Lick is dumb. Trying to learn Faint Attack. That's better. A Dark type move. Fa forget Fake Tears. You don't need Fake Tears, Teddy Ursa. Sweet Scent. I don't think Hordes are a thing in this game, are they? Play Nice. Is that like Play Rough? No. Not at all. <laughs> Slash, there we go, that's a good move. Forget Fury Swipes. <laughs> and our last egg is... Drumroll. <gasps> Yo! Shelter! I'm not upset about this one either. Withdrawal. Trying to learn Supersonic, okay. No, no Supersonic. Supersonic is dumb. Icicle Spear, though. That's a move I can get behind. Mudshot, Takedown, Withdrawal. Let's forget Takedown. Takedown is kind of dumb. Icicle Spear, baby! Protect. I could do with Protect. Protect is good. Let's forget Withdrawal. <laughs> when we have Barrier, why do we need Withdrawal? Leer, no. No. Yes. Clamp. Clamp is like the really crappy water type move, right? Eh, I mean, it gets held on, but this isn't Gen 1, so. Ice Shard, there we go, that's a move. Gotta get that priority in there, baby. Alright, we got four Pokemon out of that. We got three that I'm ecstatic about, and one that I'm eh about. So let's check them out here. So you're holding your leftovers, you're naive, so you can be mixed. Alright, alright. I feel ya. Oh no! A timid predator? Oh no. Is that so... Boost attack step and lowers accuracy. Oh, I need to figure out how to evolve this guy. I hope Delta Scyther doesn't have that ability. Teddy Ursa? Toxic Orb and holding quick feet. It's holding the water stone! <laughs> okay, okay. I need to do some research into these guys. So, let's pull up Shelter Generation 6 Learn Set. So, we'll go right. Oh, dang it. I could have hit the jump to. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, come on, Bulbapedia. So Shelder, by level up, will learn Razor Shell at 32, Aurora Beam at 37, 40 Whirlpool, 44 Brine, Iron Defense, Ice Beam, Shell Smash, and Hydro Pump. Those are all pretty good. Let's see if Cloyster gets any level up moves. I can't believe it's actually holding a Water Stone! <laughs> okay, Cloyster, by level up in Generation 6... Gets Spikes at 28, so we've already missed the ball on that one. And Icicle Crash at 50. So that's actually not the worst. I could keep it as a shelter for a little while just to see how things go. I think I will do just that. Okay. Now. How to evolve Delta Scyther. Alright, let's take a look see at this one. Oh man, I can't wait. When traded holding a metal coat, I actually have to trade to get this thing? I'm done. I'm upset. <laughs> That's lame. That's lame. Alright. Well, no Delta Scyther for us. Oh, but I will take all of your items. Except, yeah, actually, no, I'm gonna take all your items. <laughs> take. 
and take. Yo, I would not be upset about using Ursa Ring, though. That'd make me pretty gosh darn happy. Oh, Delta Scyther. Why did you have to be timid and also require a trade? I don't even know how to trade on this game. <laughs> Although, maybe, maybe if I got a metal coat from somewhere and, like, one of you guys wanted to trade with me, I guess that could work. Okay, Imolga, you're going in the box. You get to sit here. Manchu, you get to sit in the box. The rest of yous is coming with me. Wait, did I? Oh, I forgot to put Delta Scyther away. I was about to say, wait a minute, I didn't math right. Darn, I really wanted to use Delta Scyther too. Darn it. That's so upsetting. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. So Teddy Ursa and Shelter, welcome to the team. These guys are a little bit underleveled. Oh, wait, what nature is Shelter, by the way? I forgot to look. Jeez, I'm all over the place tonight. Lonely. So its attack is up, but its defense is down. Which, honestly, not the worst. I can run a mixed shelter now. So, maybe... I think here's what I'll do. Oh, look at him! I think I'll get shelter to the point where it learns Ice Beam. And then... After that, I'll evolve it into a cloister. Oh, by the way. Okay, Google. When does Teddy Ursa evolve? According to Bulbapedia, the Bulba Garden, Teddy Ursa is a normal type Pokemon. It evolves into Ursaring starting at level 30. You tried to pronounce those right, and I appreciate that, Google. Uh, let's get Teddy Ursa evolved then. Have an Ursa ring out here nice and early. Okay. Oh, look at him. I love him. Love him, love him, love him. Alright, so long, Vipic City and your trash. Can't believe I lost Potty here of all places, you filthy, disgusting animals. How do we get out of here? I guess I have to go down and out? This looks like the path. Have I even been in some of these houses? I must have been. I must have explored this place fully. Alright, Crossroads. This looks like the perfect place to start catching even more Pokemon for even more encounters. So any day now, if a Pokemon wanted to show up, there we go. And it's a Growlithe at level 34, wowzers! Okay, that's probably going to hurt me badly, so I'm going to switch into Old Blue. And we're going to try and weaken the Growlithe. It's not got Intimidate, it has Flash Fire, I can tell that right away. That hurts. That hurt me very much, Growlithe. I don't much appreciate that. I am feeling a little bit better now. <laughs> now that I've got some cool new Pokemon, I don't feel as bad- ah, that was a critical hit. I don't feel as bad about losing Potty. Alright, come on. That's right, Growlithe. I knew you couldn't stay away. Right, let's try that again, Blue. Don't get a critical hit this time. Jesus, that hurt. This Growlithe is strong. Okay, perfect. That looks... Oh, I didn't get more Pokeballs. Uh, problem. Gonna run. Gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh! Hey, check out my super awesome rare Pokemon! Is it a Caterpie? Is it... It's a Raticate, actually. This thing probably has Pursuit, but I think Teddy Ursa can take one Pursuit from... Pursuit. One Pursuit from the thing. Okay. Let's go into Cult. I trust Cult more than anyone to take down this Raticate. It's got Assurance, actually. Bubble Beam! And Crunch. It's the Psychic-type killer. Alright, get out of here, Raticate. No one needs you. Was that your super awesome rare Pokemon? Now a Swellow. Yo, Swellow was actually pretty dope. I will give that one to you, friend. I could probably take on Swellow with, uh... With Shelter, though, do you think? Let's give it a try. Let's try out Oliver. Come on, Oliver. It's your time to shine, buddy. I'm leery, but 
Let's see. One, two, three, critical hit, four, five, and we have Ice Shard, so we win. Ice Shard! Nicely done, Oliver! First battle! Well played. Well played, Oliver. Alright, so that's Ursa Ring, done and dealt with. And now a Spinda. Well, we know who we're gonna go into for this. Beat it up, Blue! Kick its ass with your brick break! Get out of here. Speeding up these stupid little trainer battles is gonna save me so much time in the episode. I like it because it's not... It's not as obnoxious... Ah, yes. Begin the process of evolution, Ditka. It's not as, like, obnoxious as it is in an emulator, because when you speed up the emulators, they, the music speeds up with them, and it gets really, really irritating to listen to. This game, I can speed it up, and it's just, you know, you gotta be careful about not pushing the wrong button. We got an Ursa Ring! I've never used an Ursa Ring before, so I'm pretty excited about this, actually. Yo, look at him! Look at Ursa Ring! Let's see, let's see Ursa Ring's stats. 101 attack. That hits harder than Blue, almost as hard as Colt, who is 7 levels higher, and Kipling, also 7 levels higher. Holy cow! That's awesome! Yo, you and me, Ursa Ring. We're gonna be buds. Now... Oh, and up after the episode, I will probably try and grind Ursa Ring and Shelter up to the appropriate levels. So let's see. Let's go upstairs and buy more stuff. Give me something that's not a Pokeball. Yes! Yes! Well, first of all, revives are useless to me. Let's take five Hyper Potions. Let's take ten Super Potions. And now... Seven Ultra Balls. That should get us through... Oh, and I'll take a, a couple more Hyper Potions as a result. That should get us through everything that I want to maybe catch on the route up ahead. Okay, let's go, Ursa Ring. <laughs> Yo, look at Ursa Ring! Ursa Ring! So dope! I don't know what Ditka means. I'm probably gonna change the nicknames I don't understand. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Into something I do, just so I don't, like, accidentally offend somebody. A Fletchling! I do have this Pokemon, but it's because of a, an egg catching. I actually have a Fletchling that I could use if I wanted to. So, I'm going to hit you, Fletchling, and you're going to not faint, and you're then going to get inside of a Pokeball. How does that sound? Oh, you little turd. You absolute little birdie turdy. Turdy birdie. <laughs> Why am I so... I don't... Okay. If it uses Roost again, I'm gonna go for the Slash Attack. Don't go for the Roost again. It went for Natural Gift. Okay. Why is it failing, though, I wonder? Okay, accidentally kill KO the Fletchling. That's fine. We'll find another one. We'll catch that one instead. This is the, I'm upset that I lost a team member, and I want lots of encounters to make up for it. Nuzleaf is another Pokemon that I have, but only because I hatched it. So we can, in fact, get this encounter. For this one, I'm going to switch into blue. I mean, guys, Ursa Ring just hits too hard. It's too strong. Oh my god. This Nuzleaf... Let's see what a little low sweep's gonna do. It knocked it out. Okay, I, I maybe need to not use Ursa Ring or Blue to try and catch Pokemon. <laughs> but who else will I use instead? All of my Pokemon have become strong. Okay, Ditka. A nice, gentle slash attack. A nice, gentle slash attack. <laughs> Critical hit. Of course. Hey, at least we got. We're getting some levels on old Ursa Ring here. Growlithe. Surely. Yes, Intimidate. Perfect. Don't get a critical hit. That's perfect. Maybe. Let's go for a faint attack next. Just to be absolute certain we don't knock the poor thing out. Also, that hurt, so I'm going to switch poor Ursa Ring out of here just in case you don't catch. Catch. <clears throat> it's allergy season. Well, it's allergy season if you have a Christmas tree in your house. So, I'm a little stuffed up right now. Alright, get in the Pokeball, Goralith. 
That's one. That's one more Pokemon we're adding to the team. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Its superb sense of smell ensures that this Pokemon won't forget any scent no matter what. It uses its sense of smell to detect the emotions of others. And no nickname because you're an egg token. You get to go live in box 21. All right, now more Pokemon. Oh, whoops. Your clothes are pretty stylish, but can your skill match up? I've got an Ursa ring, buddy. Let's see what your stupid little headband. That's a throw. <laughs> I was about to trash talk this guy. <laughs> He's got a throw. Let's try... Throw is pretty bulky. I don't know how hard it hits. So let's see how well Black Rose handles this. Oh, it's going for bulk up. Es no bueno. Es no bueno. Almost, almost. Went for revenge. You've got to be kidding me! You're dead to me, Throw. You're dead to me. Not that you weren't already going to die, but get out of here. Black Rose 2? Ugh. I had such plans! <sighs> okay, well. Now this has become an extra necessity because now I need to replace Black Rose. It's not like I was extremely looking forward to using a Delta Roserade. It's not like I was eagerly waiting for it. No, it's fine. It's all fun. Punishment? What does that do? You know what? I don't want to know. I'm just going to safely heal up cults. With one of the super potions we just bought. Take this. I don't know what punishment is. What is that move? Stop that. <laughs> Stop punishing my cult. He's not into that. <laughs> He's not into punishment. Jeez. That was a lot of XP. And now a Krogunk to finish things off. I'm not messing around anymore, so you're just going to get a Psybeam to your face, Krogunk. Sit down, you stupid frog. Alright, Cult Growth level 39. It's now officially our most powerful Pokemon. You're styling, I dig it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for killing my Black Rose. Uh, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and exchange out an egg. If I don't get a Pokemon I want from this egg, we'll extend the episode. I'll keep catching these species until we find a Pokemon that I particularly want. I'm also going to entomb Black Rose instead of releasing it. Just because as a Delta Pokemon, that's cool to have on your shelf. So let's see if Growlithe can't get us something good. Two. All right. Closing my eyes and looking around. Take this one. And our egg is... You know, I'm not upset by that. Drift Blim is pretty gosh darn cool, actually. Elevate to level 35. It's very bulky. And it's going to start evolving. Quickly! Quickly evolve! I have no time for your games! It's not so lanky anymore, though. Now it's kind of... Now it's round. It really came into, its, uh, into itself. Astonish. Gust. Trying to learn focus energy. Let's see. It's got Tailwind and Weather Ball. <laughs> Weather Ball is useless, though, so I'm going to put on Astonish. Or... Focus energy. Payback. You are quite slow, but the attack's not the best. Let's take off Astonish. Actually, I wonder what nature you are. Trying to learn Ominous Wind. There we go. That's a cool ghost move. Let's forget Focus Energy, even though we just put it on. <laughs> Trying to learn Stockpile. Ah! Yeah, we can, we can put Stockpile on over Tailwind. But I'm not learning... Oh, Hex is good, but I don't really have the means of dealing status, so I'm just going to not bother with that. Swallow, no. I said no. Spit up, no. Okay. Let's check out Drift Blim. 
Driplim is a lady with a Chesto berry, so meant to be Chesto Resto. It's got Unburden, which is pretty dope, actually. Pretty decent attack, defense, or attack, special attack, and speed. Like, those aren't the best, but they're not the worst. It's actually faster than Kipling is. S surprises me, actually. <laughs> huh. Okay. So then... Stockpile, Ominous Wind, and Payback. So not the best moves ever. But hey, this thing could be good. This thing could be good. Alright, you know, I'm actually pretty happy with that. We have three water types again. <laughs> so still got a very severe electric type weakness, actually. But I'm not, I'm not upset about this team. I think we can make this work. I really do. I hope we can make this work, actually. Okay. That's decided, then. This is the team I'm going to roll with. Actually, let's see... Before we go anywhere, let's see what Driftblim looks like. Ah, I love him! I love it! So, I've never used a Cloister in a playthrough. I've never used a Driftblim. I've never used a Sock or an Ursa Ring or an Octillery. I have used a Swampert, but I've never had a Shiny Swampert. <laughs> so... I'm pretty tickled pink with the team right now. Get it? Tickled pink? Tickled pink? Tickled pink? <laughs> uh, if you have enjoyed this capture-heavy, egg-heavy episode, then please let me know with a like and a comment down below. Tell me, which of the new team members is your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Which one are you most anticipating? Or, which one you hate the most? Who are you very angry that I'm currently using right now? Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time as we return to the Pokemon Insurgents Egglock. Until then, take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.